All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Tess. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor man is hot. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. My brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. And that's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll be for Fenton. A gift! Bounty! It's a sin to look at gift horses. But I see a gift horse. Oh, oh, that's some strong stuff! Just keep them coming. See them all catch your soul! So drink up! Don't be shy, boys! <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this! Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. 
You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no. what? It's those bastards from Shady Bell. La fiesta fue divertida. ¡Te lo niego! decir yo no sé yo si es buena idea subir <risa> vale to tomo nota incendiar todo no es opción es muy divertido pero no es opción ah vale se no era
All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Mm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. No era. Hasta por la mañana. Okay. I'm a nuts. Oh,
No, que recibo una llamada. You won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. All dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Voy a comprar munizado y creo que tengo para mejorar algo. Hola, buenas tardes. Spend much time in the parlor house? Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Déjame comprar. Fine choice. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. I have one myself. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. Had to have it, eh? Hmm. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Gracias. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own.
Bueno, pues ya tenemos un nuevo arma favorita. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Very nice. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I sit in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Hey there, partner. Are you he looking for that fella's wagon? Coming back here. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Yep. Ay, un burrito. Yeah. Oh. Burrito sabanero y de camino al bayú. Mira, el caballo está igual de guarro que yo. Está para el guardia. Pues, y con este tengo cinco tiros. Ay, 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 el árbol. A ver, podemos hablarlo por las buenas, ¿vale? 
Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up, ain't he? You tell your friend I'm sick. Oh, man. Where's the damn wagon? No era por incordiar. De verdad. Coño, a todas por culo el ojo. Bueno, a ver, sí que es cierto que... Quizás... Un, un coso de estos llenos de suministros médicos... Entiendo... Por qué lo quieren. También te voy a decir. O sea... sentido tiene quitando el tema racial eh... Count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing 